music is on. We ain't got. Let's see. What do we pull here? Please be. No. Do not need to play. Is there anything? Really need some Blazers players, Blazers players for McCollum. Let's see, can I swap you with the other player? Cause I, okay, no, y'all are equal on contracts, but we'll go ahead and. Well, Clay can Clay fetch me a penny. Let me see. Clay, since Clay really wait, let me see. Let me go look at that again. Yeah, no, like CJ doesn't even need like a. Uh, and I really don't want to throw too much at CJ, especially if I can't get my monies back. Like if I if I can't ever get those Blazer cards, and the only way I'm getting those Blazer cards is if I just like, I, I mean like you have like a one, one out of thirty chance every time you pull a pack, right? Because what, what am I doing? Because there's thirty teams, you just need. Let's see how much does he go for? Anybody that's over a thousand, I definitely don't mind. Because I can buy. So that's definitely probably okay. No, that's real. Clay's going for that cheap. Oh my goodness! Well, I know packs just came out, but oh, and everyone just pulled the ruby today. I forgot. I'm not the only one. If you logged on today, you got a ruby. So ruby card should be extremely cheap right now. Actually, should I just go ahead and like? Yeah, I probably should just go ahead and. Just, I remember when that B had like a challenge and B's price had skyrocketed to like forty, four K or something like that, five thousand. That was a really good time to just like snipe. Not this isn't really sniping, but it's a good time to go ahead and grab some rubies that I'm missing. In my opinion, I was missing a B. Is that it? Is it B really it? Oh, even PGs is going, like, super low. I think like that's a snipe. That PG, I think like that's a snipe. Is this PG a small shoe for? Or is he, yeah, he, did he already get bought? No, he's still there. I have, like, every Ruby in the game. Luckily, I, it sucks, though. Ruby's kind of came out, um... Rubies came out, like, you know, on day one, you know, we had these Ruby cards, and they were all pretty good, because they're all duos, most of them are, like, it looked at, like, every single Ruby card, as far as I know, on the day one NBA series, they were all, like, Rubies, um, let me go back down to a thousand, is that Paul George still there, that's really interesting, maybe I'll just wait to sell my, M M I need an Embiid, Oh, and also I needed, I, I guess I had a challenge today. All right, but the whole reason I'm even on here streaming right now, man, is to check out this new pack series. Usually, usually Tuesday pack sucks, and usually I do a lot of, not a lot, I usually do a little bit of research on who's out in these packs before I make these videos, but I have not a single clue who's in these packs. I had, besides when I first opened up the game, and it gave me a quick glimpse of this right here. This is the only, like, thing I have. So, John, Bill Russell, Dan Robinson. So, Exactly what I was thinking to myself is what they need to for sure start doing is always they need to give us a center. Uh, they used to, if you know since they're doing this pink diamond diamond two diamond deal every pack they need to give us a point guard every time they need to give us a small forward every time and give us a center every time because those are what really kind of lacking though. Um, we well also we're really lacking like power force and stuff too. But I usually I usually just throw sometimes like look at my team now. I usually just throw like a point guard at the two guard, which I did with Jaron Williams. And I normally sometimes just use another center for my four, just depending on if I need shooting or things like that. So, I mean, not like nothing crazy, you know. Um, Morgan can do his – he can do the four. He can play the four really well. He can abuse small fours and also just play really good defense and rebound. So, we just got a really strong interior game here, Johnson. And these three guys stretch the floor. So, um, Morning really isn't too big of a liability. As long as he can hit those mid-ranges, which he can, it's just his release kind of sucks. He has an A-plus mid-range. This release sucks. Bench, bench, my bench can shoot, except Bill Russell, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, but, yeah, everyone else can shoot there. Um, I need to make some changes here. We just need point guards. 
I need bronze skin parts just so my my team loads in the right way. But yeah, that works. Cause it, I mean, this this lineup won't won't load in if I have like a power forward in the mix. But anyways, yeah, that's the team. Um, for the moment. Uh, so let's look at this pack. Um, so like I said, they gave us John. Is there a reward for this set? Oh, Sam Jones. That's not really worth. I guess so. That, that should probably bring the price of the set down. But John Helvichick, have Helvich. I don't even know how to say it. I got always. I, I gotta hear it for some reason. Have Livic. I think. Um. I still feel like I'm saying the name. I'm. I'm just going off memory when I say the name. But anyways, uh, post face nice. Driving lips nice. Uh, I like. It's really solid post game. Shooting's really solid as well. He even has a nice little driving dunk. This is like six five, a little on the shorter side. I would probably run this guy at the two. Um, defense is really nice. Their perimeter skill is really solid. No wonder his price is so high. I wasn't expecting a car like this to really be like too expensive. Eighty speed. That's knowing knowing how this uh Hudson car plays and how slow Hudson feels. Um, having an 80 speed at the two would really suck. Like 85 at minimum, in my opinion. 80 speed is is gonna feel slow at the two. If you run him at the three, you may not notice it. Um, if if you know if he's just your spot up shooter and maybe he gets out there on fast breaks, 80's fine. Um, but don't expect to like you know get his car at the ball and expect him just to take it to the hole every time, or even expect him to just you know get around um hit defenders. Uh, defense, like I said, lateral quickness is there, stamina is there, um, every, like it's really solid um, defensive wise. Um, Inconsistency is there, ninety five defense and off. I mean, a really solid card. And, and I was gonna say, like, and we only look at the badges, and if his badges are any up to par, like he's gonna be really solid. Difficult shots, relentless finisher, tireless defender, trapper, contact finisher, um, tireless shooter. So just a lot of shooting badges here. Even as contact finisher. So note that in mind. He will catch. It looks like he would probably catch some bodies with that. Um, let me go back. If that's his deal, those his tendencies for dunking. 80, 80 driving tendency, driving dunk tendency though. That's pretty solid with contact finisher. He should, he's gonna catch some bodies. Con catch and shoot corner specials. This would have these would have been nicer to have on Hall of Fame. Uh, but he would have been overpowered at that point. I think probably would have been one of just immediately the best cards in the game. Um, Havoc, John Havoc. Chick. Havoc Chick, I think that's how you say it. I just want to get it right. Oh, he has clamps too. That's nice to see. Catch two corner special, acrobat, teardropper, um, break starter, who cares? Uh, some of these, I guess, always who cares? Pick dodger and pick pocket are both nice to have. That would pick pocket would have been nice to have in Hall of Fame too, but he should with that 90, what was it 95 still or 91 still? It, it sh he should be insane. Clamps, like I said, already a D like just he's just gonna be really solid on both offense and defense. Probably one of the best two way, um, small force in the game. Just like looking out his range, um, as well. What can he get? Is there anything I missed that he can get? He can't get diamond. Everything I think he has everything. Like you don't have to add anything to his car, as far as I can tell. Like hot zone hunter. He did have catch and shoot corner specialist dead eye. Um. Needle Thriller is actually a really important bat this year because of how easily passes get picked off and passes just like bounce like you passes just are still terrible this year. Like Needle Thriller actually is really relevant. Or more re more relevant than people want to probably admit this year. Um Yeah, like he's he's got all the shooting badges, he's got all the defensive badges. Um Yeah, almost nothing I think I mean else I would want on his car except maybe extend his range extender to um Obviously, gold. Other than that, I don't really. I gotta go back look at his playmaking. Intimidator. Oh, I forgot about that. Intimidator. Okay, he can at least get that, so that's good. Giant Slayer is always nice to have. Downhill. Gotta add that. Oh, and quick. I was just gonna say. I, now, when I saw downhill, I just realized he didn't have quick first step. Quick first step downhill. Okay, he definitely needs those to feel a lot quicker. Without those, he would probably play like the slowest card in the game. Honestly, um, 86 ball handle. So, no real point in giving him. Ankle breaker, but he can't get ankle breaker. I mean, really, like, he, a lot of potential outside of like what he can just already. He can immediately come into the game, be a spot up shooter, be a, uh, a open open slasher. He can probably post you if you if you play off um, under the rim 
and also uh, his defense is like locked down pretty much, in my opinion. So I mean, no problems here. Only thing I feel like um, there could be potentially flawed with him is his uh, speed. So he may he may feel too, like slow. If you but if you give him downhill three first step, probably would be really nice. Let me actually go back and look at his acceleration because that's actually more important than his speed. So eighty, just eighty all around. Okay, okay, okay. Really solid here. Okay. Like no problems really with him for me. Then Robinson is almost the same price. My goodness, what's Robinson have? Robinson must be really looking really nice. David Robinson is always a car that even his early game cars can shoot the ball. So I'm actually expecting at least a 73 ball. This guy, this guy was like a quadru. He could he could average quadruple doubles pretty easily. So I'm expecting. A lot of big things when I see a David Robinson card. He's like the last guy to have a quadruple double, if I'm correct. So I expect the big things from him. And obviously, 7 1. And he's pretty, he's always pretty quick to me. So he's just always one of those everyone's looking for a David Robinson card. Um, but yeah, straight off the bat, post, post game is there. And this is one of the things that I really actually don't expect a lot from him. I expect him to be really strong and maybe can do a little post. Um, post spin or you know uh, post uh, hop or stuff like that. I don't really expect post phase from a Robinson car, which is it's nice to already see he has that post fade. Post moves are there. His post hook is uh, there. His mid range is there. Like I said, he will have a three of seventy seven. That is actually really solid. Give him a shoe that'd be eighty. Um, I haven't even looked at his badges yet. Uh, with a good coach, maybe you know three ball doesn't go up even with a coach. Um, eighty, you know, give him a diamond shoe. Eighty is fine. Um, no problems there. That's the same as Mikeinen. So if you if you shoot consistently with Mikeinen, I mean, if you if Robinson's release shouldn't be too bad either. I don't know it. I haven't really seen it in a while, so I don't really know. Um, but yeah, standing dunks actually lower than Mikeinen. That's actually kind of uh, disheartening there. But uh, Mikeinen is, well, Robinson is two inches taller, so same driving dunk too. Another kind of wish that could have been a little bit higher, but I guess he had, you got to cut, cut the fat somewhere because his offense is already looking lethal. He can post you up. He can shoot the ball. He can take you inside. I mean, it's a lot you can't really do about him. His playmaking is looking awful here. So uh, that's usually one of the things that obviously, it, like if, if this was like a later game, year, later later in the year car, he would definitely have better playmaking. But that's more accurate. Um, but, yeah, suck to see it, it that is that low, though. Um, like I said, his rebounding and defense should both be there. His block should be, yep, 85, 6, all right. Interior is all right to me. He can even play interior, so he can play perimeter, I mean, defense. Interior looks nice at 94, uh, really solid there. Rebounding is okay. He's 7-1, so it shouldn't matter too much. He's pretty athletic, but I just would have wished those were, like, at 90 or at least 89 or something, you know. 86 seems a little bit low, in my opinion. 70 speed, so he will feel kind of quick. Um, defense consistency, their offense consistency really isn't there at only a 90. So, no, I would love to see that at 95. I mean, so far, it looks okay. I don't see why his price is so high up, though. I, it should be, he should be barely above 100k for me, in my opinion. Uh, post spins there, drop steppers there, rim protector, lockdown. It's so like I said, really, really nice post player and defender. Catch and shoot, so that's their. And pick and popper, so you know he's he will be daily off those, uh, uh, those pick and pop. So uh, that's pretty dangerous. Box defensive leader, hard crusher, intimidator, rebound chaser. So okay, that that helps him out a little bit there. Consistent finisher, contact finisher, pro touch. Oh, that's always nice to see a pro touch on the center. Um, dream shake, deep phase, hot zone hunter. So that's even so like I said, he's gonna be a pretty low key lethal shooter with with all these shooting badges. Even at the three, you're going to have to watch him. And clamps on silver. So what else can he get? Corner specialist. I wish I could see his hot zone. If he has corner hot zones, plus corner specialist, catch and shoot, I mean, that 77 will feel like a 80 with the badges. So, um, I mean, it will feel like a 90 with the badges. He will knock down pretty much a lot. If you know his release, you give him all the badges. He shouldn't have any problems shooting with this car. He would definitely be a really solid stretch He'll be a really solid, like, he's going to be a traditional center that can stress the floor. Secret, he can, like, sneakily stress the floor. Definitely a center I would love to have. Um, but his price, man, I would, I would, like, can't afford that. Um, and by the time I, I, I would save up for his price, he would probably already be a better center out already. 
Giant Slayer as well. Giant Slayer on centers is actually underrated. Giant Slayer on any player is underrated badge. Um, but definitely on a center. Because you're basically, you basically, any layup you take, you're going to do, you're going to, you're going to, like, basically have a better chance of making it with Giant Slayer, no matter what position you are. Especially a center, because your matchup is usually going to always be another center. So, uh, you're definitely going to be able to make a lot of those. Deadeye, too, so that'd be nice. So, even... Even late defenders won't really better stop him. So yeah, a lot of promise from this card. A lot of promise. Dame even so, Dame must must not be too good. So he might be all offense here, because his price compared to Robinson is. And like I said, I think this these are the first cards to hit the market, so that his price isn't is really inflated, because these are the first cards that are hitting the market, right now. So uh, yeah, I guess give it. I guess give it some time and it may be a little different, but I wouldn't even mind. I wouldn't mind buying some, uh, buying a, a pack or two here, because these are some good options. Oh, and they even gave us a curry. What's he? What's he? Must be another amethyst curry. Oh, oh, uh, uh, yep. That's. I don't even gotta look at his stats to know he's a budget baller. Oh my god, man! These rubies are insane this year. If you're a budget baller player this year, you are you are the lucky. This is the luckiest year to play. The car, the the car. I haven't even looked at this car yet. I know he's insane. Oh, he only has silver badges though. I I, I spotted that pretty quickly. But he's like, he has more silver badges than LeBron. I think that Amethyst LeBron on day one. Anyways, man, you're a budget baller player this year. You're you're in luck because yeah, Dame has always been strictly offense. So it's really. Really nice to see that 97 offensive overall off the bat. Driving layups there, we know that. Um, shooting is there, we know that. Uh, right at 89. 89? Uh, wasn't that like this three ball for like one of his day one cards last year or so? I feel like 89 looks so familiar on this Dame. I feel like I've seen 89 three-pointer off from Dame before. But anyways, 89 three ball. Or no, last year everyone had like an 89 three ball from Curry. I think that's why it looks familiar to me. Uh, his three balls there, driving dunks there. Uh, yeah, he's gonna looks like a just a straight shooter here. Playmaking should be there as well. Yep, ball handles there. Passing, we should have been a little bit higher, but it's all right. Defense, ooh, ooh, yeah. I I was expecting that. Um, but yeah, no defense. If he gets clamps, okay. Um, if no clamps, ooh. And even like even this Nate card, for example, this Nate card is trash on defense. He doesn't get clamps. He's an Evo card, so of course he doesn't get. You can't give him badges, so he's just one of those cards that even he he sucks on defense, and his stats are way better than his Dame card. And he even like he at least has a lot of speed to him. So, but he gets people blow by him with ease. But yeah, I, I can already, I can't even believe what what they're gonna do to that Dame card. So 88 speed. Um, that's looks like this. I definitely have uh I definitely have I should have Dame. I may I could be lying to myself here. No, I don't have Dame. No, really not. He is a Ruby. yeah, he would have been a Ruby. Do I really not have a Dame and Ruby? I guess not. I want to compare him to his uh to his car. I guess I don't have him. Speed looks pretty slow to me, honestly. Okay, same speed okay, if he's the same speed as Oscar Robinson, that's not really slow because Oscar Oscar feels pretty quick. That's probably who I should be really comparing him to as an Oscar card. Um, yeah, but like his Dame looks all right, really on offense. Um, defense isn't there. Even 70 consistency. So, I mean, that's – boy, he's going to get worked. 95 uh, consistency on offense, though, like really going to be a – I mean, I think – yeah, I mean, a card like this is useless to people – who have, if you already have, like, Curry, right? If you are, and everyone has, by now, I think has a, a point guard. I don't think Dame really brings anything to anybody right now with, with his lack of defense. If you, a lot of people have Curry, I don't, but I know a lot of people have Curry. So those high-level players really aren't looking to get this Dame card. So his price should be pretty low um, by Friday uh, once the new packs drop. So uh, keep an eye out for him. He might drop for under 100K. I really don't expect a lot out of this card, or expect more out of this card than I've already seen from other players like Curry and uh, even Darren Williams has done his job. Even even the low key guards like uh, 
uh, Byron um, Scott, even, you know, he's doing really solid. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not expecting much from him. But this is a nice set, though. I give it to Matt. Space Creator. Um, so, you know, that clutch shooter. Um, yeah, some really, they use some really accurate uh, badges. Deadeye, green machine. If he had limited this rain, would have kind of put the the uh, ice on top for him. How's on Hunter? Catch and shoot difficult shots. They really don't want to give a lot of people catch and shoot Hall of Fame for some reason. And they also don't give a lot of people corner specialist Hall of Fame. Ankle breaker, though. Nimer. I have yet to see corner specialist, and I've yet to see limitless range. But Dimer, so I see that. Contact finish, and I see that. Face forward, giant start, and I see that. Does he have pro touch, and I see that. Bell out. Downhill, free first step. Uh, and I see all of those. Hot zone, hot start. Tight handle, stop and go. Pump fake, my short. Range extender, there it is. Uh. Floor general, just a straight offensive beast. No corner specials yet. Uh, everything else, I mean, doesn't really matter. Need a thirder would be nice uh, for a point guard anyway. I feel like all the, okay, he can get corner specials at least. Um, yep, and everything else does not matter. For some reason, he gets brick walls. But his other badges don't even, like, he has everything from what I can see. As long as he get corner specialists, I mean, he, he, he has every offensive tool he needs uh, to be lethal. Um, yeah, so nothing, nothing this card lacks for offense. Just you, just, just he's just gonna suck on defense. That's all I can say. Um, this Hasman card actually has a mid range. That's nice to see. Post face there, uh, really, really underrated. Even he is an amethyst. All, all these the amethyst this year have been really solid. Kind of in my opinion. He has some really nice uh, standing dunk. I mean, just you know, over under the rim, driver dunk, standing dunks is really solid there. Defense is there, uh, which would love to see a little bit higher. I mean, not, I'm not really scared of this card on defense as much as I normally would have been. His stats aren't that high. Uh, rebounds really nice there, especially offense. Uh, speed's a little slow. What's his height? 6'8". Oh. And he's only 6'8". I swear, swear I thought Haslam was like 6'10". Um. What's his price? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not expecting this card to. This is one of the cards, like it's and it's been rare. I mean, he has no badges really. It's been like a solid center. If you if you need us just a traditional center who's gonna rebound the ball, play really solid defense, and can catch that mid range, he can catch that mid range. Let me see if he has any, he has pick and pop. Does he have catch and shoot? Rebound chaser, high zone hunter at least. That should be enough. He should be very consistent from mid range. Won't be able to hit any threes. Um, power forward wise, I w I would definitely look to run him at the center. Um, he can do his job. He has the rebound there. Let me look at his speed again. He might outspeed it. Mm. He's kind of slow when I look compare him to some of these other power forwards. Jaren Jackson. Oh, Tennessee is Jaren Jackson. That's not okay. That's not bad. All right, not bad, not bad. Um, the other, no, this is the cream, the crop. Uh, Curry here. Oh, only eighty-seven three. People still gonna abuse this card. Nothing is special there. This is only eighty-seven. I mean, there's a lot of rubies that can do that job better. Aaron Gordon, for example. Uh, Byron Scott still is a better point guard. Even Chris Paul may be an even better option in my opinion. Um. And he's super slow. Not even like trying to compare him to some really players that outclass him. Um, but even just compare him to players like Rondo, um, Terry Rozier. He's just super slow. Mark Price is like the only one that, it, I mean, that's a shame. So just a really slow car. He's still going to be like, it's a Curry car. So the hype around him is going to be insane. People are still going to use him. Um, and he only has silver cars. So, yeah, I was expecting a little bit more out of him. Um, but yeah, his price still gonna be he's gonna be really expensive because of his name. But he does not deserve his price at all. Let me go get this Chris Paul card real fast. I've been waiting. I've been trying to get this. Uh, well, I, I haven't been really shooting for him, but I definitely need him. Um, I'm a big Chris Paul fan, so I just like if there's a Chris Paul card, I gotta have it. Last year, I had every single Chris Paul card in the game, and that was like a total of. Six Seven or eight. I had every single Chris Paul. Oh, shit. He's shoot. He's shoot. I said shoot. He's expensive. Oh, he's a really expensive. He 
He's really expensive. I thought this car was. Oh man, is he is was he really playing that good? I thought people were definitely gonna sell this car after. I'm. I waited too long. I definitely want to play this much for Chris Paul. I must have waited too long. I'm definitely not paying that much. Wait, let me see. I I just monitor to that, but uh, as far as this pack goes, man, loyalty. Um, I'm assuming they're saying that because all these yeah, Dame, Haslam yeah, Haslam still on the Heat yeah, Haslam's like an old man now. He's been on Heat forever. Chris been on yep. So I see now they're talking about um people who stayed on their team. They also could have had players like Duncan, Tim Duncan, Kobe, um Michael no Michael Jordan left. He goes to the Magic. Uh, it doesn't really count, but yeah. Uh, um, who is there? Anyone else notably Dirk? So Kobe, Dirk, Tim, which we already got Tim. Those guys would have worked just fine too here. Um, yeah, I said Curry. I meant Kobe. Kobe, Dirk. It's a lot of cars that could have worked here. Um, but yeah, definitely. I feel like a really solid pack uh, set. Um, yeah, no, no um. Everyone here has some potential, except Curry, honestly. Um, and Curry, even, he has every badge, so if you, you would have to spend time upgrading him, but his speed is just so slow. Like, like let me go back and look. There's got to be some, some plus to this card. So, his shooting is like, I mean, like, so many, so many better shooters than him. Even World B3, well, I'm, I need to compare some, like, Kenny Smith is a better shooter than him. Terry Rozier is on equal term of shooting. Um, I mean, Mark Price is on that level as well. Anybody that like can shoot the ball is on like Curry's level of shooting, and that's uh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's just it's not fair. Like if you if you're gonna give a Curry car, he has to be a shooter, and like he he's just an average shooter. And if we're comparing him to anyone else, this Terry Rozier, I know he's shorter, but like just looks looks like he can do everything better than this Curry. Like driving up, driving dunks higher, playmaking is the same, defense is better. Even though I know Terry Rozier is two inches shorter, speeds there. I mean, and I know he has advantage in badges. I mean, his Curry, if you just compare him to anyone else that's on his level, he is he sucks. And his consistency is even kind of low to me, eighty nine. Yeah, I mean, I see no event. If you just love Curry's release, he should be all right. If you need Curry for like a limited, this Curry probably would do his job. Uh, other than that, I see no reason getting any of those guys. But anyways, uh, Haslam. Let me just kind of summarize it for you guys. From my my perspective, Curry. Uh, yeah, like I said, not not like a lot of. <sighs> I gotta go into depth with this one, man. A lot of players, um, like Aaron Gordon, Eric Gordon. I keep I might keep saying Aaron if I say Aaron. I mean Eric Gordon. He can do his job really well. He doesn't miss from the corners. He does like if he's open, he would do, like he he he's very specific in what he does. But those specific things are exactly what I need and what a lot of people need. Just a spot up corner shooter and just someone that can make a, a fast break dunk. And he can do those things. Um, don't need him to handle the ball, which he can actually kind of do that too. And then we also got guys like uh. Even back in the day, Kenny Smith was like a hot commodity when he first came out. Um, but as far as spot shooting go, Byron Scott, um, he's another card that just does his job really well. Um, even guys like Ray Allen, Rich Hamilton, they do their their jobs well. Jeff Green does his job well. You know, you don't necessarily need the the best um, hot players. Mitchell, I'm under like look at look at him like he doesn't really even fit on my dynamic, but he just does his job so well. I threw him in there so. It's just a lot of people that do their jobs well, even if they're under, like, under level, right? I, I wouldn't even mind. I really wouldn't even mind throwing Eric Gordon on my main team. That's just how well he performs. He doesn't miss open threes. So, I mean, I, I, I just don't see a problem with the card at all. In certain cards, like, it doesn't matter about their their color, their car skin or whatever. They're, if they fake, they just fit your rotation really well. That's kind of why I wanted to get that Chris Paul, but he is – Expensive, uh, but anyways, Haslam. He has a place in some people's team. He really does his job well as a center. 
that he's a power forward card, so that's kind of the problem with him. But he can play the center. He's kind of short. Um, but if you just need like a really, if you if you pl- like to play small ball, Haslam's kind of that guy. Um, he's just not really a shooter, which a lot of people look for in centers. No, Dame, um, straight offense. I mean, yeah, everyone could use a Dame if you don't already have like a Curry, um, a Darren Williams type player. You can definitely use a Damian Lillard. David Robinson, uh, like he can do. Like, he's probably in my in John Havick. Uh, he is. Uh, these two cars are potentially um, in Tuesday packs usually suck, but these cars are potentially the best um, additions we've had in a minute. David Robinson is actually looking to be one of the best centers in the game, and even more surprising about him is. He's not even. He can't play power forward. He can't. You can't downplay him. He would have. He would have performed even better at the power forward to me, but you can't underplay him. So you have to run him at the center. But that's okay. Six, six seven, one. So no problems here. John. Um. Yeah. He can just do his job, man. He can do his job very well. Um. Two best. Best probably two way player. I think I've seen, especially out of the uh, pink diamonds. Anyway, probably the best two way pink diamond I've seen in a minute. But anyways, yeah, like really, really solid pack. Um, yeah, it's definitely. I don't think I have. I gotta go look at Sam Jones, Sam Jones stats. But I don't think it's worth locking this set in for him at all. Without even looking at him, I just feel like it's not worth it. I know Sam Jones is actually not like super big, and for him to only better play shooting guard is already like looking looking rough. But anyways, man, hope you guys enjoyed uh, real diversity. Uh, we are out. Peace.